You might say, this is America. We would never have to hide people. We'd never have to do things like that. Let me just, let me just share something with you. This last week in St. Paul, there was a debate over an amendment, A6. I just, you just need to listen to this because you almost can't even believe it until you hear it, and then when you hear it, you still can't believe it. Just, just listen to this just real quick. Thank you, Madam Speaker and Representative Vang. If a, a Minnesotan writes an article uh, claiming or arguing that COVID-19 is a Chinese bioweapon that w- leaked from, the, from a lab in Wuhan, and someone reports that article to the Department of Human Rights, is that something that the Department of Human Rights should put in their uh, bias registry under your bill? Representative Vang. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Representative Niska, uh, you know, not all incidents uh, are considered, I guess, violent or um, criminal, as I said before. And so this clearly, if with the rhetoric that we have seen since the pandemic and uh, regarding um, accusing Asians of bringing in the coronavirus, uh, that is bias motivated, and so that can be considered uh, a bias incident. Representative Niska. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I think I heard uh, yes to that, um, uh, yes to that, which is very troubling to me, um, that, that someone uh, making a, a factual argument uh, along those lines, I think is something that's within uh, political discourse would be uh, included in the Department of Human Rights database. Let me ask you another question, though, if Representative Vang would yield. She will yield. Representative Niska. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And Representative Vang, if, uh, if uh, a Minnesotan is wearing a T-shirt uh, that says, I love J.K. Rowling, and someone sees that and reports them to the Minnesota Department of Human Rights uh, as, an, as an example of uh, gender identity or gender expression bias, is that something that the Minnesota Department of Human Rights should put in this, uh, in this uh, bias database? Representative Vang. Thank you, Madam Speaker and Representative Niska. Uh, you know, I think this question will best uh, be answered by the lawyers. I'm not a lawyer myself. I think in the language of the provision, uh, we have uh, looked at the language to make sure that a substantial part of any incident has to be relating to uh, bias and hate and motivated. Um, And so I will, you know, I'm not going to say a yes or no to that question. Um, It is really uh, up to the, um, those investigating. It's really just up to those who are investigating to determine if you get turned in to the Department of Human Rights and the investigators on just whatever they think, if you really do have a bias against someone. How many of you have a bias? I mean, how many of you think there should be no speed limit? My wife always goes, me, me, me. I think it should be 55, stay alive. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a bias in moral issues. And so you wear a, a, a shirt and it says, I believe the Bible, God made men and women or something along those lines, oh, that's, that's turned in, and you're going to be on this list, and there could be other ramifications down the line. I, I so love Pastor Nate. He, he recently, well, this was maybe two years ago now, he sent me a text in the morning, said, hey, praying for you as you preach this morning. Uh, preach like you're trying to get on a government watch list. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Nate. I love you too. <laughs> Listen, live dangerously. Jesus is worthy. There's another point I want you to get, and that's you just got to hang tough because the world's going to point their finger. If you trouble the world, they're going to point their finger at you. Notice what he does. You troubler of Israel? No, I'm not. Notice the word because. You are the one that's troubled Israel. You and your father's household. Why? Why are they a troubler of Israel, the people of God, the kingdom of God? The, the work that God was doing in the world at that time was not through the church, but through this nation of Israel. Why are they? Be, the word because tells you a purpose. I went to the store because I needed milk. I, I, I went to church because Jesus is worthy. So this is very important. Because, why are you the trouble? Because you've forsaken the commandments, you have not, and you have followed Baal. Instead of following God, you followed Baal. That's why you're the troubler. You see, the world will always point when someone, when someone in the kingdom of God troubles them. They're going to point and they're going to say, you, you're, you're the problem around here. 